Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 13th, 2020. So yesterday turned out way different than I would have expected with the banking holiday. There was a unbelievable push by the bulls, particularly in the big techs yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, we've got an awful lot on our plate. How about we buckle up, settle in, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, we have an interesting situation. Um, overnight, futures pulled back, but they have recently bounced off of overnight lows with um, earnings starting to roll out this morning for the second quarter, or excuse me, the fourth quarter. <laughs> and um, we have um, a lot of distractions to, um, on our mind. First, we still don't know anything about um, the stimulus plan that has really pushed us into a hyper extension um, at, at this time in the indexes. So we don't know anything about that. We continue to be mired in negotiations and uncertainty on that. We have the iPhone uh, big show today. Um, Apple, Tim Cook will be putting on his best dancing shoes, trying to inspire a whole bunch of buying with their new um, iPhone um products that they will be showcasing this morning when they'll be available. Um, we'll find out later today. And then um, we have a Supreme Court no nominee being questioned um, in the Senate today. That will go on all day today. And we have the distraction of the Amazon Prime sales event and all the other um, stores out there kicking off events to kind of tag along on that deal. So we've got a lot going on here this morning and we have an interesting market set up with the Dow um, currently pointing to a gap down open, but the NASDAQ trying to um, push a gap up open being led by Apple. So kind of an interesting mix here and lots going to be dependent on the data that we see this morning. So first, let's take a look at the indexes themselves and see what we have going here. Well, first off, when we look at the Dow, we are really in a extremely extended condition here in the short term. We're pushing back up to all time highs here in the market, um, certainly the high in September. We still have a little ways to go before we break out to all time highs and start pushing up toward that 30 thousand level in the Dow. And let's keep in mind that um, as we continue to stretch up, there's really more and more danger um, if we get some kind of a disappointment in the news of a major whip to the downside. So the farther and farther we extend, the more and more risk there is in chasing these positions long. But it seems to be that's the only method that traders have right now. They just they just are in a ravenous, uh, have a ravenous appetite for buying risk, no matter how far that risk away uh, risk is from a uh, a comfortable level of price support in the chart. So I'll show you some indicators here that will kind of demonstrate that a little bit. So as you can see, technically in this pattern, we're rising back up substantially. We're rising back up toward this an uptrend um, that we broke. Remember, we broke that uptrend and now we're trying to reverse that back up with a bit of a head and shoulders pattern here on the chart. Unfortunately, that head and shoulders pattern has almost played itself out on the technical basis. We've already stretched that up there and we're pushing back up toward these highs in the chart. Will we be able to breach on through? That is the question. And I suspect after such a strong run up, we do have to be watchful for the potential of a pullback. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also rallying very strongly and it's reaching up here toward it's um, all-time highs in the market. Can the SPY actually push up? We're, we're certainly pushing hard to try and reach up there 
for um, that move. Right now, the, the ES futures are f almost flat. They were down earlier this morning, almost flat at the moment. And we also have that inverted head and shoulders pattern here on the SPY working out. But honestly, we have kind of completed that move. When you measure a inverted head and shoulders pattern or a head and shoulders pattern, measure from the head to the neckline, and that'll give you the approximate move that we could make in that um, head and shoulders pattern. So we've just about exhausted that. Perhaps we rally up here and test these highs. I don't know. It's really going to depend a lot on how these earnings roll out this morning and the data that we're going to receive uh, this morning on the GDP. Let's take a look at the Qs. <clears throat> QQQ. Um, very, very strong yesterday, a extremely bullish move, really led heavily by the big tech companies uh, trying to push up, seeing lots and lots of bullishness in giant tech, and really this morning being led heavily by Apple. Apple is coming out with their new iPhones. There's a tremendous anticipation of that new product. So we'll want to watch that. Can we get back up here? We may test the underneath side of that resistance. We may test this as a double top high. Watch that. There's a lot of danger here. And the reason I say that is we have big point potential moves if we get some kind of disappointing news, whether it be stimulus news or um, um, GDP news or earnings developments. We have that big, ugly potential of a substantial pull back to the downside. So be careful chasing these to the upside. As a matter of fact, I did a lot of profit taking yesterday, closing out trades, um, bagging some gains uh, just because of that uncertainty in the market. I like using extended markets for that opportunity to put some capital in the bank so I don't have to worry about it overall. And that's, that's worked really well for me um, and um, made for a comfortable uh, morning this morning, not having to worry too much about what might occur. Um, we always want to be watchful of the potential of that pop and drop when we extend up like this and we reach um, those uh, double top high levels. So watch for that, that possibility that we get that buy wave come in and, and then the sellers um, come back on and push us back down uh, to those overnight lows in the futures. So let's watch for that. IWM, IWM has remained very, very strong, held up very well yesterday. Been kind of impressed with this and IWM pushing um, some um, old resistance levels in the chart. Now we've got a lot of work before we really break through into new highs um, in the Russell. But it's nice to see that those financials were starting to perk up. Energy was trying in some places yesterday to help out, but nothing major there. So right now, uh, IWM remains pretty bullish. It really is going to depend on how uh, these banks really report, whether or not I think this can continue to hold up. So watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. This was interesting yesterday. The VIX. Um, just before the close, um, we had the VIX actually showing a white candle yesterday. So we were up 300 and some odd points yesterday, and yet the VIX was trying to catch a little bit of a rally. Um, kind of an interesting situation. It may show that the market understands or knows that we may be possibly a bit extended overall. If we take a look at a big pattern here, we've got kind of a downtrend going on here in the VIX, but we've also got this possible uptrend. We're in this wedging pattern. Now we're trying to hold a little support area in this chart and notice that we have some support right down in here we're trying to hang on to. But it is nice that we're dropping back down a little bit. We're in that 25 handle area, still showing some significant uncertainty in that. But I gotta tell you, the VIX has just acted very, very odd here um, over the last couple of months. And um, looks like that could continue. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at T2122. And this is my biggest concern, guys. And you can you can try to discount this and you can try to throw it out and say T2122 just doesn't matter. None of that, none of that stuff matters. But I gotta tell you, there's never been a time that this indicator has lied to me. 
Um, we can stay elevated for a period of time, but when we reach a hyper extension like we are right now in the market, we have to be prepared. Uh, prepared for the possibility of a pullback and we want to watch that closely and we have reached that point just such an extreme push to the upside now we can and we have seen times in the market where we've lingered up here for a while and perhaps earnings events and things like that can hold us up in that area for a little bit of a consolidation but let's watch for that possibility don't ignore the possible fact of a pullback coming in the market. Now, it doesn't mean that we have to just sell off and zoom all the way back down here. It may be more of a light pullback and a consolidating move that moves us back down um, in T2122. Um, it doesn't mean that we have to zoom all the way back down. So just kind of keep an eye on that and, and remember um, a profit taking wave could come in at any time. Watch that close. Let's take a look at T2101, which is the absolute market breadth. And this I thought was kind of interesting yesterday in the fact that we were zooming and zooming and zooming to the upside, but market breadth really wasn't coming in all that strong. So kind of keep that in mind. We have really pushed these stocks to um, perfection um, in their prices. And that can prove to be very dangerous um, heading into earnings if those earnings um, happen to disappoint. Let's hope that doesn't occur. But if they do, we want to be prepared and watchful for that. Let's take a look at um, the um, economic calendar for today. And we do have something on the economic calendar we want to pay attention to. Although the market, it seems to be very, very focused on the hopefulness of stimulus, we still have data that we have to deal with, including the earnings reports. And you can see this morning at 8.30 this morning, we have a CPI report. CPI last time came in at 8.4. Um, CPI. They're looking at that falling to a 0.2. So a reduction in the CPI. I don't know if the market will ignore that, if they'll react to that. If it comes in better than expected, we could be see bullishness there. If it comes in worse than expected, we could see bearishness. So keep an eye on that at 8.30 this morning. That will be kind of interesting uh, when that comes out. Um, also kind of keep in mind we have some Fed speakers. I don't think we're going to learn anything more as they continue to go out there and speak and our treasury statement which really doesn't seem to matter anymore um, we just print debt at an unbelievable rate and nobody seems to care but right now um, treasury statement will probably be largely ignored overall um, so keep that in mind and then remember tomorrow morning we have PPI final um, we'll want to pay attention to that tomorrow morning so you might want to think about that heading into um, Wednesday excuse me, as you prepare for the end of the day today. Let's take a look at the earnings uh, calendar. And we do have some earnings um, that are notable this morning. And um, if you guys ever want to get the full list or um, anything like that, just below the description of my video, there is a link back to the website for the blog where I always list those notable reports today. So um, if you want to get a complete list, sometimes I can't cover them all. And that will be the case as we ramp up into our fourth quarter earnings season. Let's take a look. Johnson & Johnson will be reporting today. Now, they had a situation where they pulled back on a clinical trial, um, hitting in the news, uh, pulled back on a uh, clinical trial because of an unexpected illness um, on a coronavirus um, uh, test patient. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, uh, this will be reporting um, anything as possible here with that other news um, on JNJ. &J. JP Morgan has reported this morning. Initial reaction is to the upside. JP Morgan reporting well. And you can see JP Morgan has been trying to rally toward that earnings. Um, and if we take a look, um, breaking this downtrend in the chart, and we still have a significant level of price resistance in that chart that we need to punch on through. Whether or not they'll have the energy to do that today, we'll have to wait and see. But JP Morgan, one of the first to report and seems to be doing a pretty good job at the moment. We also will hear from BlackRock today. 
Um, BlackRock reporting this morning and gapping substantially higher here this morning, moving up. By the way, this candle here on the new TC2000 series, it's really kind of nice. You can actually see what's happening in the pre-market here on that candle. So you can see big gap up, pulling back a little bit, but we're breaking through resistance highs that will help that financial sector out substantially today. Keep a close eye on that. We're also gonna hear from Citibank um, keep a close eye on that. Citibank still in a downtrend, struggling a little bit more and still under a significant level of price resistance in the chart. So it's going to need some, some good love to maybe push on through there. We'll want to keep an eye on that report. We have Delta Airlines reporting this morning. Um, kind of hard for me to envision uh, an airline in this current market uh, producing a really good report, but keep a close eye on that. Delta will be reporting. Uh, Fastenal. Fastenal could be a really um, interesting one to watch today with building um, being so strong. Fastenal sells all of those nails and fasteners and screws and things like that to those builders. And we'll want to keep an eye on that. Right now, it's indicating a um, a down move this morning, a little bit of disappointment. And as you can see, that's reacting directly to some price resistance in the chart. So if they happen to miss or have missed on their earnings report, um, that could be a bit of a problem here for Fastenal. Um, EDU is also on the schedule for today to report. Looks like it's extending up this morning a little bit more. You can see that candle right there trying to push on through this morning. But the bid ask spread is really, really wide. I don't think we've got the earnings report out just yet. So watch that. And then last but not least that I have on the list today, WIT. Um, we'll be reporting today. Not exactly a major notable, but it is a confirmed report that could have some effect on the overall market. So watch that closely. Remember, we're going to have to really stay on our toes. We've got a lot of uh, big bank reports coming out this week, and then next week, earnings really start to ramp up. So remember to pay attention to those earnings reports. Um, um, in your charts before you pick up a trade. Uh, keep in mind, if you use the TC2000 system, you can actually place that next earnings report right on the calendar here or right on your chart so that you can identify when they're coming and prepare for a trade like that. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. Um, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, if you found this video to be useful in helping you prepare for the day, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. It helps me continue continue to grow the channel and I so much appreciate it and for those folks who have shared these videos out there on social media I truly truly appreciate it it is um, it means the world to me thank you very much everyone let's take a look at some stocks that are doing quite well setting up well first I want to report um, Amazon um, I was in a bullish put credit spread um, on Amazon. I ended up taking profits on this yesterday as this zoomed up um, big, big anticipation of the, um, the prime event coming up tomorrow. Looks like they're heading higher this morning. That's okay. Just in just a two or three days, picked up a 50% return on that trade. But I would keep an eye on this. This is going to be interesting on that prime event as we push up here toward that high. Can we push on through there? Kind of an interesting pattern here. And we're seeing the same kind of extreme stretch um, in these moves up um, in a lot of charts. So let's watch that on big tech. Can they continue to hold that momentum to the upside, breaking through that those resistance levels? Take a look at a stock like McDonald's. McDonald's has been just really doing extremely well this year. Um, in COVID land, a lot of people being able to uh, buy their 
um, meals and things through drive up and they don't have to go into restaurants and things like that. And you can see um, MCD has been holding up in a beautiful trend. Notice this nice little consolidation move after breaking through in that chart. So if you take a look at my drawings, you can see that I've actually placed an alert here on this chart. I'm watching MCD as it slides on over to this trend. I wanna see if there's gonna be enough inspiration here in the market for that to pop on out and begin that next leg higher. Looking pretty good overall. LB, um, we've seen really, really good uh, bullishness in retail stocks. And LB starting to show those kind of signs here as well. Breaking through resistance, consolidating over toward its trend, looking for some bullishness in here to maybe begin that next leg up. Keep an eye on that. I'm following NIO pretty closely, and to tell you the truth, I still own NIO. Waiting to see if this is this little consolidation is going to move over to that trend and inspire that bullishness to the upside. Keep an eye on that NIO trying to consolidate here. Watch for that next potential move. Looking pretty good. As you guys know, um, I've reported on this for some time. I have held Walmart for a very long time. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, my entry into Walmart was right here and I'm still holding this trade. I've traded around it with options that entire period of time and just recently added to this trade, buying up some more stock. Um, as you can see, Walmart looking very bullish here, breaking through, kind of consolidating a little bit yesterday. We may have to rest a little bit more, but watch for that opportunity for this to maybe move higher if those retail stocks continue to show or and demonstrate the bullishness that they've um, shown here lately. Take a look at DRI, Darden Restaurants, looking very, very good. Um, they've been consolidating a little bit of pullback yesterday into the trend. Let's keep an eye on this as this tries to fit, round out this trend, see if we can get that inspiration to maybe push on higher in that chart. Looking pretty good overall. I've been keeping a close eye on VMware. VM um, moving up strongly. Now, I don't want to chase this move at this point um, to the upside. We have a fairly significant resistance right here in that chart. But notice as we continue to push, we're starting to break longer term downtrends in the chart. If any kind of a rest consolidation pullback in here that holds may set up an opportunity for VMW. So keep a close eye on that. Remember 1114 is when it's, uh, excuse me, 1124 is when it's expected to report. So keep a close eye on that chart. Lots of other good charts out there to pay attention to guys. Take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks breaking its downtrend, rallying strongly here over the last three weeks, breaking through. Now, I think any rest consolidation or pullback in here sets up an opportunity for that trade, even if it has to slide all the way back over here to trend. Watch that closely, keeping in mind 11.4 uh, Starbucks is going to report. So watch that closely. Some really, really good charts out there. Um, one more time, I'm going to mention um, FD. FDX, FDX continues to set up. You can see this line I have in here. If I pull this chart back, there is a major high out here in the chart from 2018 that we're testing right now. Keep a close eye on that. Notice that there's really nobody wanting to sell here. We're just consolidating under that level. If this can get that inspiration, possibly pop through to all time highs. Watch FedEx, got some upside potential and UPS continues to perform quite well since we alerted on this chart in here. So some nice bullishness, lots of stocks performing. Um, uh, just be careful chasing. We are very extended in our indexes. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading today. I want to wish you great results. Please remember, stop right back here. We'll see you bright and early Wednesday morning with the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. And I want to wish you all a safe and happy day. Take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you very soon.